Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be jumping into the well-being of Sea of Thieves, how Sea of Thieves is in general, because the game is super dead as of right now, what the devs can do to improve the game, more content that needs to be pumped out, all those different things to help affect Sea of Thieves in a good way rather than a bad way because this game could have been so much more, but it has kind of gone downhill. And we're also going to be talking about me not posting as much and streaming as much in this video. So let's hop straight into it, and if you guys do enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe, and it would be hugely appreciated. So let's first talk about the game Sea Thieves. Sea Thieves is a PvP PvE multiplayer adventure sandbox game. This game includes enemies, AIs, players, and a big area for people to sail around, complete missions, and level up. So Sea Thieves is a sandbox game. That is pretty much what Sea Thieves is. You just sail around, do missions, collect gold, level up, and get cosmetics. A lot of this game is cosmetics. So that is mainly what you grind for in this game. So next we're going to go ahead and talk about the updates that Sea of Thieves has and releases and gives us players the community to enjoy, play in, and adventure. I'm going to say that Sea of Thieves, sea, sea of Thieves has very good updates, but recently it's been lacking. Ever since around Season 3, Season 2, Every season update has kind of been lacking. The cosmetics in the, in the past are amazing, they're always awesome, but the content for the season has been a little dry, a little, little less lately. It seems like they're adding a little less and less each season. I feel like they have gotten a little more relaxed with their content. They have kind of not put as much effort into it as they should have been. Like season six, they just added C4 and some missions and that was it. Um, that is not enough content to fulfill someone for three months, especially a content creator such as me, which sucks, but Sea Thieves needs to release more content for their players to bring in more attraction to the game and give people more fulfillment. Now, Sea Thieves' first update was called the Megalodon update. It was the Megalodon update. It's called the Hungering Deep. This was where you spawned the Megalodon that follows you around every time you try to sail from one island to the next in this game. Um, besides the Kraken, but this is the annoying occurrence that you find all the time on the seas. Back then, it was an update, and you had to summon it, take a song to the middle of the ocean, play it, summon it, kill it. And from there, this, the updates were going uphill. My favorite update, personally, was the Cursed Sails update, when skeleton ships and skeleton fleets were introduced. That was my favorite. It seems like the game was going uphill. It had such a great start. And around... 2021 to 2020 2021 is when it started going downhill after the pirates of the caribbean update the game just went downhill from there that was either 2021 or 2020 i can't remember at this point it's been so long but the game just content has started going down after the pirates of the caribbean update the developers have been lacking in content each season they have been lacking in content until now I hope that Season 7, they add more content for us players to have as a community and enjoy to pull this over to the next three months. But Sea Thieves needs to add more content in general and give more things to their community and more cosmetics to bring more traction to their game. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about the PvE slash PvP aspect of the game. The PvE aspect of the game is awesome. If you want to enjoy some time fighting skeletons, ghosts, ghost ships, skeleton ships, all these different things you do, Sea Thieves has a very has a big variety of that of PvE things. This game lacks, even though it is a pirate game, lacks a lot of PvP. The community in this game is full of people who, in my opinion, run and try and hide their loot from you or keep their loot away from you. And I know this is a pirate game, but as a content creator, chasing people for hours on end when they have a little bit of loot just for the content is very annoying, very difficult. Um, now, it's not CP's fault, but 
over half of the game is PvPers, more like 75% of this game is PvEers, um, which I'm fine with, but it's just, it, it makes it difficult and tough whenever they run away for hours and you can't catch them because they're fast or just as fast as you. And in my opinion, I wish that they would add more PvP aspects to the game to let us PvPers have a little bit more fun playing this game rather than having to chase people down all the time to get to just sink them and leave their loot behind because they didn't have much. Um, this is my opinion on the game and I'm sure a lot of other content creators can agree with you on that. Um, the PvP aspect in this game is is a little less than decent, but it's 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 enough to get by. It's just there needs to be a little more PvP aspect of this game. And back to adding more content to the game, that is where that comes in to bring more traction to the game to get more players playing so that we can sink more people, fight more people, and have more PvP in this game. So next we're going to go ahead and start talking about the bugs in this game. The bugs in this game are horrible. There are so many bugs every season in this game that it is unbelievable. Some that they've said they've gotten rid of have came back, like the flipping, like the ship going upside down. They said they fixed that. They have not. Um, the glitch where if you go too far into an island or a rock or a dock, you get flung up. Uh, you get flung up into the air, your ship does. Uh, they have not fixed that. A lot of bugs that they said they fixed have not been fixed in this game. Um, that need to be fixed to make the game playable. Uh, I had a glitch the other day, the most recent video before this one on my channel, was the menu getting stuck on my screen and me not being able to see all the sounds being muffled and all of those things. Um, this game has a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches, a lot of things that need to be fixed to ensure that the game is playable and isn't terrible experience it isn't a terrible experience for the people playing the game because you don't at the end of the day you don't want your players hating the game because of the bugs the ping the servers all this um so see these need to fix their bugs first before they do anything else in the game they need to work on hit reg because hit reg don't even get me started hit reg is terrible in this game they need to fix it that's all i'm gonna say The next thing I'm going to talk about is server, if filling up servers. The amount of times that I get into a server with nobody in it, with maybe one emissary or no emissaries in it, and rare labor or reaper is very, very common. Um, as a content creator, I always look for reapers. I always look for content, emissaries, and all those things. Um, and most of the servers I load into are the, the exact same server because there's not many servers active or there's just nobody in the server. So CDs could do something to smush the servers together, make a bigger, expanded field for loading into servers, uh, filtering more people into one server rather than having multiple servers. Um, that would be very, very helpful for the PvP aspect of the game. It would be awesome, and Sea of Thieves needs to add this little thing to help make the game just a little bit better. The next thing I'm going to talk about is, you should already know this, the taking away of Arena. Arena was a decent game mode. It was different than Adventure. It allowed you to get cl in in like close range of PvP and not be able to run away or do any of that. It allowed you to fight other players and naval them or board their ship and have a good time killing people, competing, and trying to win with chests. The removing of Arena brought, I would think, a lot of the Arena players either out of the game or the people from Arena who TDM'd and did an AL and stuff all into Adventure to make the experience for people in Adventure worse for saying such as like spawn camping or things like that just to make the game worse if they were those kind of people. So they should have left Arena in the game, just stopped touching it, made sure that their bugs were good, just left it in the game to make sure that there was some kind of thing to make other people happy, to make multiple people happy, rather than just making people who play Adventure all the time happy. Because Arena was a really good game mode, it was a really good part of the game, 
and they could have done so much with Arena, but they chose to get rid of it and completely disregard everything about Arena, which sucks, but the developers are going to do what the developers want to do. So overall, altogether, the thing the game could improve on tremendously is PvP aspect of the game. PvE is completely fine, doesn't need to be touched, um, and content added to the game. If you're going to make more PvE content, at least make it fun and playable for the PvPers so they have a decent time playing the PvE, just like the Pirate's Life, Tall Tales, and the Sunken Shrines and Fortresses. Um, the game needs to fix a lot of hit reg. I hope that they do that in the future now that Arena's gone. I hope they fix hit reg. They add a lot more content in Season 7. I hope that they're just compensating for something huge coming because they said that 2022 is supposed to be their biggest year. Um, but they said that in 2021 as well and nothing, not much happened. But I'm hoping the Sea Thieves makes more content, makes the content better, makes bigger updates, a lot more time and effort spent into it to have more people funneled into the game and playing the game and um yeah so that's all i have to say about sea thieves in general it just can be a little bit of a better game it's still on a good track it just needs to go up instead of down and i'm now going to tell you quickly explain to you why i haven't been streaming as much or posting as much youtube videos so over the past few months i have been not losing my touch but losing some of my interest in streaming and video editing so that is why videos are being uploaded slower maybe one video a week um i'm canceling a lot because there is not there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now that is mentally and physically stressing me out to not be able to stream not have the mindset to stream and sit down and edit i don't have the time when I'm streaming, I'm very lucky if I get to stream because I'm very busy. I'm a very busy person outside of my streaming career. Um, and I just want everybody to know, if you guys don't know already, that this is the reason I am not streaming right now. Um, I will not be streaming this weekend. I will be streaming Tuesday or Thursday of the week of April 4th. It should be April 4th. Either that Tuesday or that Thursday. It will most likely be Tuesday. But I just want to quickly inform you guys... For those of you who did not know that I'm losing a little bit of interest, but I hope to gain that interest back into streaming and content creating so that I can keep building myself up instead of go down. So thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. <clears throat> if you did, if you can agree on me on some of these things, leave a like and feel free to subscribe. It would be much appreciated and help out the channel a lot. We hit 150 subs, which I'm very happy about. Um, and thank you guys very much. Um, also... Feel free to join the Discord server. That'll be linked in the description. And uh, yeah, come say hello on my Twitch stream. Uh, go follow my Twitch stream. We stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. On the weekends, it's 8.30 p.m. Eastern, so Friday and Saturday. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to catch you guys soon. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Come check out my live stream. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Size bed was an escape plan, was an open hand. Down.